hello everybody scott golden here with the uh golden opportunity center on the youtube channel welcome to those of you who are new to the channel welcome back to those of you seasoned veterans of what we do around here we've got over 850 audios available on a variety of topics and uh try to be here as often as we can usually multiple times per week uh, please feel free to like subscribe comment below if there's a topic you'd like to see covered would love to be of assistance to you in that way there's a couple ways you can reach out to me directly through this youtube channel uh, and that is, um, you know, you can, you can do in a, in a good way. And, uh, ultimately, uh, you can do that through the about me section or about, or at, uh, PO perception on Twitter. Either way, you're going to get in touch with me or my team and we can connect from there. Um, the, the first thing to look at is uh what a bad friendship looks like and so that is the topic of these particular audios or this particular audio anyway um so bad friendship if the person is always in need now obviously um throughout a friendship we're going to have different needs portfolios sometimes we need a certain level of support from our friends from the people that matter to us other times we need a little bit more a little bit less but the problem becomes when a person is always or only coming forward when they're in a position of emotional, mental, physical, financial need. Needs portfolio can lead to a lot of problems and ultimately can lead to um, some challenges with that in a unhealthy or uh, unbalanced manner. It's not necessarily that them needing something in itself is bad however if the need is constant and they don't give back to the relationship from a friendly perspective from a meaningful perspective from an emotional support perspective then honestly you know you can't really go too far with the continuation of the relationship in a uh, progressive manner now that doesn't mean you can't continue the friendship but you have to realize and recognize that getting to a place of deeper value is often necessary and sometimes getting there will also require you to be a little more um, balanced in a meaningful direction so hopefully this means um, some sort of good in your general direction and hopefully that can be beneficial to you next thing becomes um, if you are uh, always struggling with being gaslit. So if they're trying to get a reaction out of you and the reaction is generally negative, making you doubt your own sanity, making you doubt things that are happening, making you doubt the way events actually occurred, this is a controlled manipulative tactic to try to get a certain level of sympathy or control in the dynamic of a friendship, relationship, or other form of social interaction. And if this becomes a pattern not only will it erode the good nature of the friendship itself, but also you'll eventually burn out on the person and also get to a place where you may not or don't have any ability to trust them, their intention, their integrity, or anything related to the relationship. It doesn't mean you can't call them out or they can't change the behavior, but if gaslighting is a major force in their behavioral pattern with you, then certainly there are problems ahead, both in the long and short term of the relationship itself, because that's not a sustainable way to behave, which will lead to resolu resolution or sanctity of um, connectivity or health in a relational sense. The next thing to consider when looking at is a friendship unhealthy for us or bad for us, um, we can we can kind of look at um, is the person silent so are you having to chase them all over the place to keep the relationship going this is bad for a different reason than that is you're begging for attention and therefore it's going to negatively affect your self-value furthermore by a person's inaction they're showing you that the importance of the friendship isn't at the same level between the two of you and so if, if you notice that you're putting in double, triple, or more the effort than the other person on a consistent basis over several months or longer, then you need to look at, is this a friendship I've outgrown? 
Is this a friendship that we both see as mutually beneficial? Or is this something I'm holding on to for the sake of trying to remain connected to something that isn't necessarily in my best interest to remain connected to? Now, it, does, it, it can be extremely difficult, especially if you have a long history with someone around that concept, around the idea that, hey, we have, we have a history, we've known each other for a long time, we've connected previously from a, for a long time, and that becomes problematic. The next thing to consider is, uh, you know, are you in a place where the person is selfish? So the only time they reach out is when they need something, or the only time they reach out is when they feel they can benefit from you. Even if there's mutual benefit, sometimes it's like, hey, can if I buy you dinner, can you pay my, you know, double the cost of dinner phone bill? So the idea is they're selfish. They're only talking about themselves, their problems, their challenges, the things they need, how they need you to do A, B, C, D. And they're not thinking about the burnout factor on the friendship. They're also not thinking that you may have needs that are going under fed, under noticed, under appreciated or undervalued simply because you're constantly taking care of their needs. It doesn't mean that you have to stop taking care of them if it's something you truly feel comfortable in doing, but remember it's necessary to assess whether doing so is going to be something that you can continue to do and like yourself in the long run. And the last thing is if they tend to be a person who is insulting or inflammatory in nature. So they may uh, choose to uh, kind of uh, look at you from a, from a new perspective and they may try to alter how you see them for their own benefit and not take responsibility. So hopefully this is helpful. I encourage you to keep your feet on the ground, your mind in the moment. Until next time, everybody.